Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Captain Nemo. Welcome to another Rogue Company video. And today, you and I are going to be looking at Dallas, one of the most coolest and awesomest rogues that you get. He's actually a starter rogue that everybody gets when they get this game. Today, we're going to break down all of his weaknesses, his strength, his special abilities, his weapons, his perks, how he works with other rogues, what you should be using him with, and what kind of playing style he fits in the grand scheme of a rogue company as a game. Speaking of gameplay, I'm going to, of course, provide you with gameplay of uh, Dallas. In fact, at the end of this video, I will provide you with some uninterrupted gameplay as well if you wanted to get that feel for Dallas without me talking. All of that is going to be chaptered below in this video. So if you wanted to skip to any of the sections, you could do so below via the chapters. And make sure to smash that subscribe and like button because there's a lot more stuff coming and you want to make sure that you stay tuned for that Rogue Company content. So who is this Dallas guy, right? Well, he's a former Texas lawman. Dallas is a widely regarded as one of the best trackers in the world. It's a pretty cool special ability. It's called Target Finder. It reveals the closest enemy for a short duration. It's actually a really nice ability, especially with the regenerative feature. You could just keep using it and using it, and it works really well for that type of playing style. And of course, we'll get into that. It also has something called Recharge. That's a passive ability. It recharges your ability when you down an enemy. So every time you down somebody, you're able to do the target finder and, and what, it's actually a really cool animation too. He just snaps his fingers and then you get like this radar that goes out and you get to see it. So it's a, it's a really cool one. It's a bit, it gets a bit more advanced, but it works well for all of those folks who are trying to kind of be sneaky or stay back a little bit. Really good feature. I like the recharge and the target finder together. They work well. Dallas comes with a really cool set of weapons. He comes with the HRM 30KS, which is a, a high powered assault rifle. I really like this gun. I like it on a bunch of other rogues. Trench comes with this gun as well. It's a good a long and medium range weapon, but you can even use it close range if you're good with it. And his second weapon is the Devotion is a savage, savage lever action rifle. It's actually really nice, especially if you upgraded it to tier three. It is a bit more difficult to use and you got to kind of know how to use it to be accurate with it and to get people down because most of the time you're probably going to be facing someone with automatic fire. It's difficult to use a, a lever action rifle, you know, when you're facing someone with just a braid, braid of bullets coming at you. But it does work well. If you can make them count, you will always have advantage over your opponent. You also got a LW6 revolver. That's a beastly, beastly. It's like a basically a 357 mag. Especially if you upgrade it, you get the longer barrel. That thing is so awesome. A throwing axe because you're just an absolute boss. EMP grenade, that's a really good one. And it's kind of annoying to deal with, especially if you use a lot of toys. Then he's got an incendiary grenade, like a Molotov cocktail. That works really well. Also, very annoying to deal with if you're on the opposite end. Dallas also comes with a whole bunch of really awesome perks. Like padded footsteps, you can get rid of that. So this, you know, it's like uh, silent footsteps. You can uh, reload while sprinting. He has a stalker perk, which is really cool. It removes aim down sights uh, and movement speed penalty. So basically, it's really all about you just being one of those assassins that can take someone down. And I really like Dallas for those reasons. If you're that type of player, Dallas is definitely one of the rogues for you. He's also a really good team player. It's very, very nice. When when you can get a defensive and an offensive rogue. Dallas pairs really well with Ronin if you want to be running around with Dallas, but he's also pairs really well, in my opinion, with Trench and Anvil if you want to stay back because the Trench and Anvil are defensive rogues that can kind of be tanky while Dallas sits back and just pops people off, especially if you're going to be using a lever action devotion, you know, things like that. So he's really, really good. It's, he's a really, really good rogue if you want to use him by yourself, but he's very good if you're going to team him up with another rogue together. Several times I've played with my teammates and a Dallas on our team would snap his fingers and tell us that, hey, somebody's really close and he, you know, he can be able to do that all the time by downing and then snapping his fingers again, downing and showing us that. So it's kind of like having a little radar if, you, if he's on your team. 
I wouldn't say Dallas is a beginner rogue. That's probably not something that, you know, most starting players would want to, you know, kind of begin with. But if you are a good marksman, he's definitely a rogue for you. Or if you want to try a more advanced type of player, or maybe with somebody, someone that has a team of four players playing together, definitely want to have Dallas on there. I love playing with Dallas, and I really love when Dallas plays on my team. So what do you think about Dallas over here? Would you like his type of character? Is that someone that you would play with? Does he fit your playing style well? What do you think about him? Let me know down below. Who is your favorite character so far in Rogue Company? Have you seen the other ones? I have a whole bunch of guides on a whole bunch of other characters. I even have a guide that gives you basically all of the starting characters. I'll link those at the end of this one right here, as well as a bunch of other Rogue Company content that you definitely want to check out. If you're into that type of stuff, you definitely want to subscribe and stay tuned for more. Check me out on my Twitter, Twitch, and my Discord. There are a link down below. A lot of action going on there. I am going to... I'm going to leave you with some gameplay, some interrupted, uninterrupted gameplay of me playing Dallas. And you get to check out what happens at the end of this round to see if we win and take the W. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Give me up. This is what I do. I guess I owe you one. I'm down. Ten seconds and this is ours. Help. Objective secured. Defend it. It's called playing the objective for a reason. Great work. Just one more round. That'll do. Objective secured. Defend it. Objective. Defend it. Enemies are 
out of reinforcements. Keep on coming. Forty-five seconds remaining. Yo, you need a man pack. Objective secured. Defend it. Enemies eliminated. That's what I like to see.